Yo, what up guys? It's Fishing with Daniel here, and today we're gonna do a review on the Pen Clash 5000. Okay, I did one of these. I know I on my Instagram at wifey number two fishing. Um, go follow that by the way. That I posted a thumbnail, and the thumbnail was like maybe five days ago, five to three days ago, and um, I haven't posted that video. So it's because I got a new camera, and I shut up my iPhone, so I deleted it, and I was gonna post it, but I was thinking, oh, I know how to post this camera. I'm gonna know how to get it in three seconds, and no, I didn't. I ended up taking the whole day, and then I released a dare field video, and that's basically it. So today, we're gonna be reviewing this reel. It's really nice. It goes around for like 220, 200-ish for this reel. Um, so yeah, let's get to the review. I don't know if you guys wanna see my face. Like, leave a comment or Message me on wifey number two fishing if you guys like just leave in the comments what you guys enjoy if you guys enjoy it seeing me in the review or if you guys rather see this which I'll show you guys right now which would be this like do you guys just want to see this and not me but I think for today I'm just gonna keep switching back and forth like when I put it close to my face and stuff. So here we have it, it has HT100 drag and I think I had this, okay, I don't know because when I went fishing the Darefield Pier, when I went fishing the Darefield Pier, like that video, I hooked a big fish on this and this is, look like, like this is like almost all the way tapped. Max. I have this drag on max and this base almost on max and this thing basically ripped like I don't I forgot how much drag is on this and it should be pretty good but I had like a really big fish because my rod was all the way bending and then I got cut off by concrete because the concrete ripped, messed up my braid and caught me off so that's why I only caught that croaker because I really had a really big fish on and I don't know where there's water on there probably from Oh, I just cleaned it, that's why. Basically, that. Okay, it can, it can hold up to 20 pound mono of 100, 135 yards of 20 pound mono. It can hold up to 40 pound, it can hold up to 240 yards of 40 pound mono, which I have 20. You know how the pen slammer has that future where you have you can't reel it, which is very good because it can mess up your bail. Like when you reel and you have your bail open or, or close it with like the spin pressure and battles, this one doesn't do it either. It's one of the high class reels, so I wouldn't expect it because that could actually mess up your bail. So I'm glad that they put that in. People say that it messes up your bail, so that's why I never do that. Um, let's see. What else is there like really in this review? Because really, it has super light spool, and that's really good, and I really like that. I really like how this reels, like, if you look at the design of this, like, it's so nice. Like, honestly, I would like to be this metal, like, I like metal a little bit more than this, like, because it feels like you could push into a little bit, but I've had this for, like, a year now, or two years. It has this, this design, like, I love this open hole designs, like, if you look here, like, even the gears and stuff are open because it's... This is so beautiful. Like, honestly, this reel is like real beautiful. If you guys fish a lot, fish salt water, I would recommend you get this, this reel because this reel is very smooth. Like, if you're starting out, you don't really want to spend your money on a 200 reel. I would buy that on like a pen fierce or like a pen battle, one of those reels. Or maybe some reel that's like $20. Like, if you're starting out, you don't really want to get the best top thing. You're like, like, you don't even know if you like it yet. Like, why would you get the most expensive thing? Because this is, like, like, high price, like, real. Like, I wouldn't, I'd call this high price for me. Because I want to spend my money on a real that's a thousand dollars. Like, those, um, like, what's it called? Like, those, the Shimano, like, the pen torque and the pen... And the Shimano um, Stellas, like those, that's such a waste of money, honestly. Honestly, those reels are just such a waste of money. Like, I hate that. Like, a thousand dollars for reel. Like, the most I spent on my reel 
was a pen slammer and I got that off discount. Right now, if you go to Bass Pro Shop and you really want a pen slammer, I you could price match it on Amazon and right now it's like 190. Like they were selling it for 280 and I got it for 190. And it was it's always been like that. Like that has always been that price on Amazon. And I literally price matched it for 190. So if you guys are trying, guys like reels, if you guys want it, 190 for a pen slammer three, 5,500 on Amazon. So I would recommend you guys, if you guys are looking for a nice reel and you guys have that budget in there, either by the pen clash, which I really recommend, or if you're doing like, you need a like, like pen, like really heavy drag on it, go with pen slammer because that has 50 pounds of drag on it. The only thing I like is that people say, and me too, like, it either, the drag either is too hard or is it too light? Like, when I have it low, like, to have it a little bit, it's a little bit too low where it would just yank. Or if I have it a little bit more than that, it's too hard that it won't even pull drag. That's the only problem I have with that sometimes. Like, some people say that. I don't really have that problem, but yeah. But this rod is, like, really nice. If you guys want to get it, it's... I, sh I should put it, I'm going to put it in the link this time because I haven't put any of my reels in the link yet, which I should put that in the link. Or you can just search up Pen Clash 5000 on Amazon or go to their website at, I think, just www.penreels.com. I think that's what it is. If I'm good at editing, I'll put it up right here. If I'm not, I'll put it in the description. Like, I don't even want to mess with that, Um, basically. And I think, I don't know. Put in the comments or follow me on my Instagram. What and the and like comment on this post picture when I come a new video. What time? What schedule do you want me to have? Like, do you want to post me? Want me to post like a video every day? Do you want it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays? Like, if I have something to review or like unbox, which I'm hopefully I'm gonna work for money to get that. Or do you guys want to have me more fishing videos? Because I have. Going on this boat because um, I'm on my mom's side. I'm going on the boat on this boat sports fishing with their friends and stuff and their kids on the 31st. So there should be a video out that day that we're doing a deep sea on um, fishing thing. So I'm gonna have some content there on that day. And then I'm gonna go fishing to the pier January 1st on New Year's Day. I'm gonna go fishing too on the pier again and try to catch, use my luck. Dang, this is spilling water in here. Yeah, that too. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys get, if you guys want a good reel, you guys get the pen clash. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, and comment too. And turn on post notifications. Like, what video you guys want me to do? What do you guys want me to do? Like, what reels? If you guys want me to review a lure, unbox a lure. Because I have a bunch of lures. And I can teach you guys, like, I could do videos on how to tie knots and stuff. So, just put that stuff in the comments of what you guys want me to do. And I will happily just go and do it. Um, thanks for watching this video if you made it all the way through the end and subscribe to Daniel's Fishing Adventures out.